leave the village seemingly safe for another day due to a well, bargain placed upon the humans and the mercenaries and the demon laws being kept at bay by their new guard dog. What are we going to experience in the world that Rimuru is trying to build up? Honestly, I'm just waiting for the next big catastrophe, so... Shall we see? And we are here, the, uh, the resolution with the children that uh, Shizu was looking after. And since he's now formed that alliance with the humans, or alliance might be calling it a bit, going a bit too far at the moment, but still, that might be coming to fruition. I've just thought, like the um, the lizards that drew, joined Sue's like spy ninja squad. Do they get placed in there because they just have a natural talent towards it, or did the naming force them down that route? If they had in just an innate ability for it then fine and that's all well and good but imagine getting a a role that you despised because <laughs> was that the first loss that they had to experience And how do you intend to do that? I don't... F <laughs> okay, he holds his pride far too close to his heart, especially because he went up against someone that is clearly overpowering for him yeah if you had went yes if you had went round to this about this much more diplomatically Is he going to be let off for what he did by this uh, carrion? Don't take it out on the foliage. Uh, just, uh, wow, he's got an imposing figure. His so voice sounds familiar. If he has the same... If he has the same uh, kind of abilities to make himself vanish and teleport what like the others had, that would be impressive. I am put on edge by the backing track for this scene. Yeah, there is no need to listen to them. Why would you take them on face value that they're going to be of well, they're going to be beneficial?
Are you going to demonstrate any of it? And they're willing to give that kind of power away? There is most definitely going to be a heavy cost. Yeah, beast fish is kind of what it looked like. And what do you get from parting with this information? Maybe because you don't have the specific uh, capabilities. He is so easy to manipulate, isn't he? Just play into his vulnerabilities, why don't you? I thought no one was going to ask. But if they had all of this, what's to stop them stealing the title of Demon Lord at the last minute? So why would you just agree to this kind of plan? Yes, let's just accept these obviously sketchy people who came out of the bushes while we were on rest. You won't be causing any problems to a demon lord by leaving his service and forcing yourself to become a demon lord. I can only see this going well. He may not be a fool, but he is easily... easily swindled. Why is it always the types like those Harlequins to work in the background? Was that a game? Didn't you race first? Don't hurt yourself with oxygen deprivation. What's with the mini Rimuru like bath bombs? Why what's wrong with him 
enjoying himself. Is he afforded these luxuries back in the city? Is no one going to discipline Gobta and tell him to stop swimming in the bath? Good impression. Oi. It's is he actually reliable? And doesn't doesn't his uh, home city actually require his presence? Harmless. More infrastructure. Is he... Is he uh, going to take the... The bill on himself? Because he's got a, quite a workforce with the orcs. He's doing quite well, considering he's only really like to come to the world and not known much about the infrastructure of the and the relationships between the various countries and factions. What a completely inconspicuous cave. And what would happen the the minute that Rimuru releases the seal on Veldora and just lets him loose upon the world again? Ah, oh, host. So kind of like how um, Shizu was with Ifrit. Oh no. Maybe if you were still in the employ of a demon lord, you could have asked for advice from him. Oh, how pitiful they seem. Adding surprise as though he came to that conclusion all by his lonesome. this backing music definitely doesn't give the feeling of subterfuge and deceit. I wonder if the other, like, part of his squad who he told to leave earlier. Would 
would come back and do something. D nice, nice necklace. Does she enjoy being useful? After hauling that lot, you're probably up for a break. Don't just go throwing your best friend. She looks poorly. It's a forest in danger. Well, that was a quick development. Who could have seen that coming? Well, all you're going to have to do is head out and uh, stop it from getting to the town. Now, what could it be heading for? Does any does Rimuru have a a force capable of airborne warf warfare? Didn't see that bit coming. Oh, well, there is one... one hypothesis. But being... somewhat related to the Great Storm Dragon Valdora would make sense as to why it's a calamity on the scale of demon lords. Mm hmm. Flying sharks. Not only that, but megalodons. Hmm. Please don't make a shitty B movie out of that. Ah, oh, she's quite the quick change artist. He. <laughs> Fine. What about if he asks her in a non... town-related issue? Are you going to hold the defense of the city, or are you going to prepare it outside? Yeah, but the dryads came to him. If he runs here, then the city will be uh, lost, so he doesn't quite want to start again. Or 
Although I hope it's not quite on the state of uh, facing a end game boss when you're still midway through. There's probably a reason for that. I wonder if Rimuru is going to divulge his history of his being at any point. Well then! You can't besmirch her memory. So, is that the one we saw a few times ago? And never since. But let's be honest, if you can take down... Kyoburidis... Still, even though I've seen it several times this episode, I can't remember. Um, then you're probably on good standing to face a demon lord. Especially with Milliminto. A lot of setup for hopefully a dramatic entrance in the next one. Now, what kind of abilities would it possess being a spawn of Veldora? And a giant flying fish. You know, water and li lightning come to mind, but... Just a... Not walking, floating calamity upon the world. I'm also surprised that uh, there haven't been any upstart nations that have thought about, you know, taking over or wiping them out, creating some, like, siege event, but... Has Rumoru picked up any abilities and skills that haven't been showed off? Is she quite... Kari Biodis. They might have done the right... made the right decision by holding Milim off and saying, you know, don't. Because Rumoru can pick up the experience and how to formulate a plan on city defence as well as getting potentially a level up or something of the like from taking down Kerobiudis. Of course, there's nothing wrong with keeping Milan waiting in the wings, especially if her favourite food supply is going to uh, become in danger. And so if you're eager and willing, make sure you stick around for the next one. To make sure you don't miss it, you may want to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And if you think I deserved it, and you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and a comment down below. But once again, thank you. Get some rest. So I can see you again. Please give your regards to my Patreons, because they keep the wheels turning on the proverbial clown car that is my channel. And especially to Flor de Taku, Sal, Raywin, Yuki Ali, Dinamed1997, Luis Almanza, and Aisha M. Your help is more than appreciated, to the point where I'm not actually sure what to do with myself. Thank you.